Almond uh, Twinbrook uh, near Dunbury and I've just uh, stopped off at this wee Remembrance Memorial Garden beside St Luke's uh, Catholic Church. And this is a sculptor by Ross Wilson uh, commemorating uh, in the garden commemorating the uh, youngsters who have lost their lives tragically. But this sculptor is called St Luke the Healer. Let's go in and have a wee look in this wee uh, remembrance garden. Well, it says here at the entrance, Colin Celebration of Life Garden. And uh, there's Irish there, which I wouldn't know. And it says, um, a special garden for the special purpose of celebrating and remembering the lives of young people from across the Colin area who have lost their lives in and through tragic circumstances. Um, it's a, just a place of remembrance. The garden focus is a life-size bronze sculptor of a young of a young contemporary Saint Luke. Luke was a doctor, a follower of Christ, as the beloved physician and healer. Luke was a champion of the outsider, an outsider himself, the only uh, Gentile in an all Jewish cast of New Testament writers. He shows how Jesus included. Uh, those typically viewed as outsiders, the poor, the lonely, the sick women, the common man. The key symbol of St Luke's sculpture is the garment he wears, known as the coat of hearts, which will reaffirm the connection of young broken lives lost within the community. A coat of compassion to wear uh, hope before a new generation to help foster and discover meaning through loss and pain. This is the actual statue uh, created by uh, Ross Wilson with the help of uh, youngsters from local schools. And it says down at the bottom, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to bring good news to the poor, to proclaim freedom to captives and new sight to the blind. And that's, uh, he's wearing a stethoscope as you can see there. Uh, this, he's got a coat of hearts and look the healer by Ross Wilson in the middle of this wee uh, sort of garden of uh, celebration, garden of remembrance. And I can certainly uh, identify with this place because my own sister took her own life over five years ago and the youngsters here are remembered by this wee garden. Some are suicide victims, some are solvent abuse victims, some are road accident victims, but I can identify with this.